Good early morning, mga mahal. Late morning, <laughs> mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. I am going to buy grandparents' food from here. Look at that. But before that, I'm going to eat God's word food. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come, mga mahal. Let's go and read God's word somewhere. This side here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord and we glorify you, O oh God. Your words of glory and honor. Praise, Father. This is so good, Lord. You're so awesome. You're so wonderful. Yes, Lord, you're the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. He knows our rights. Amen. Let's be faithful. Hallelujah. In us our poverty, we should endure, oh yes. In us our tribulation, we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Yes, Lord, no servant is greater than his master. He was an ear, amen. Let him hear, hallelujah. He was an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And he who overcome the sin, eternal life is God. And he who is faithful receives the crown of life, yes, Father. As you are faithful to you, Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord. We glorify you, oh God. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful time for me to be able to read God's word here in this beautiful place. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yesterday I was here and I was not been able to <laughs> finish reading uh, in the book of Brinicles in God's Word because my um my battery of my cell phone went down and so I was not able to finish and also because another thing is that actually my cell phone is not doing very well nowadays. And it is easy to get low battery because it's been a long time and also aside from that it has been like hallelujah um, it's been like oh it's always full <laughs> and so father God but nevertheless I'm so blessed God that I am able to uh, read God's word, continue to read God's love letter and help me, Father God Jesus, as I continue to read your word. Help me to understand, Father. Give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, God. It is, I'm here again with my duty. <laughs> Hello, duty and dude ski. Hello, babies. All right. Later, you go for a walk, okay? And with my, of course, also, um, it's game fish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And of course, with Ming Ming and Meow Meow. Hello, Meow Meow. Hello, Ming Ming. And let's go and read God's word. Hallelujah. What is God for us today in February 13? Um, it says here that Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 to 5 
it says, says that he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight in love he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through jesus christ in in accordance with his pleasure and will it is in ephesians chapter 1 verses 45 and it says here also that out of all the people in the world god chose you maria Ida, and also choose you whoever reading this choose you my beloved and if you're not sure about that ask him mm -hmm. thank you father and it says here also that february 5th 13 it says here that it is a trial that proves one thing weak and another strong a house built on the sand is in fair weather just as good as if birds on a rock mm -hmm. that's a good wisdom here thank you father and it is also sister that february 13 um little drops of water little grains of sand make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land little deeds of kindness little words of love help to make earthly ha earth happy like the heaven above indeed hallelujah thank you father for the good for the word of wisdom for us today and your word for us father god lord as we continue to read your word help us to understand oh god give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your father as we continue to read your word in jesus mighty name the name of our full names we pray amen and amen thank you father let's carry on reading god's word now we stopped reading on uh first chronicles chapter 23 uh i think we are in 30 verse 30 let's carry on reading and each morning and evening they stood before the lord to sing songs of thanks and praise to him they assisted with the burnt offerings that were presented to the Lord on Sabbath days, at new moon celebrations, and at all the appointed festivals. The required number of Levites served in the Lord's presence at all times, following all the procedures they had been given. And so, under the provision of the priests, the Levites watched over the tabernacle and the temple, and faithfully, carried out their duties of service at the house of the Lord. And let's carry on reading in Duties of the Priests, chapter four of chapter twenty-four of First Chronicles. And it says here verse one, it says here that this is how Aaron's descendants, the priests, were divided into groups for service. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Elizar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and they had no sons. So only Elizar and Ithamar were left to carry on as priests. With the help of Zadok, who was a descendant of Elizar, and of Ahimelech, he was a descendant of Ithamar. David divided Aaron's descendants into groups according to their various duties. Elizar's descendants were divided into 16 groups and Ithamar's into 8. For there were more family, for there were more family leaders among the descendants of Elizar. All tasks were assigned to the various groups by means of sacred lots so that no preferences would be shown for there were many qualified officials serving God in the sanctuary from among the descendants of both Eleazar and Ithamar. So Shem Shemaiah, son of Nisanel, a Levite, acted as secretary and wrote down the names and assignments in the presence of the king of king the official Zadok the priest. Ahimelech, son of Abiathar, and their family leaders of the priests and Levites. So the descendants of Eleazar and Ithamar took turns 
casting lots. And first, first, uh, the first lot fell to Jihura, Jihuyarib. The second lot fell to Jidaya. The third lot fell to Harim. The fourth lot fell to Sirim. The fifth lot fell to Malkia. The sixth lot fell to Miramihamin. The seventh lot fell to Hakuz. The eighth lot fell to Abiha. The ninth lot fell to Joshua. The tenth lot fell to Sikanaya. The eleventh lot fell to Elashib. The twelfth lot fell to Jakim. And the thirteenth lot fell to Hopa. The fourteenth lot fell to Jizibiab. And the fifth lot fell to Belga. The sixth lot fell to Emir. The seventh tenth lot fell to Hizer. The eighteenth lot fell to Hapizis. And the nineteenth lot fell to 